In this video, I will provide you with the minimum width of a stairway. These are two measurements, basically. And the first one will be in between the hand railing and below. And the second will be the measurements above the hand railing, but below the minimum headroom height required by these same building codes. That's usually going to be six feet, eight inches, if I'm right on that one. However, we will need to take a look at a few more things. And one of them will be whether or not we have one handrail or two handrails, one on one side, one on the other side. And even though I have these handrails drawn here, you might be using different types of handrails or guardrails that these measurements would apply to. So let's go ahead and get started with the first building code from the 2024 International Residential Code Book. And then, of course, I have the building code reference number R318.7.1. And it's basically asking for 36 inches in between the top of the handrail and the bottom of the headroom height. Next up, we're looking at 31 and a half inches in between the top of the handrail and the top of the steps or treads. And that's going to be if you have a handrail on one side. If you have a handrail on two sides, it's going to be 27 inches in between the hand railing. And again, these are minimum measurements. They can be larger, just can't be smaller in these areas. And if you're building spiral stairs, you're looking at 26 inches for the minimum measurements. And if we go to another book, the International Building Code book, you can see here where we have a minimum width of 44 inches with exceptions. And one of those exceptions would be for 50 or less occupants in a building, 36 inches. Again, this is the minimum width from the residential code book that most of you will be working with if you're building a house or remodeling one. And then there are two more exceptions to this. One will be the spiral stairs and the next will be if you're going to be using a stair lift. And keep in mind that even though I'm providing you with these building codes and the reference numbers you can check on, your local building department, the one located in your city, county, state, or country might have different building code requirements. So make sure that you check with them to verify these building codes so that you can use them on your project in your area. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos on YouTube. And if you can't find the videos on YouTube, make sure that you visit our website to find a complete organized list of all of the videos we've made so far.